So I'm here outside Renfrewshire Kill, uh, Council office. Uh, I've left the prop here and I'm just going to see if I can get any interest. Again, it's just to let these people know that we're here and we need to start pressing them, you know? So. What do you think, mate? What a rubbish. Why? Government trying to tell people what they can and can't fucking do as usual. Well, what do you think? Do you think the Earth's a globe? I don't give a fuck. You don't care? Do you think it's important to know where you are? I know where I'm at. Where? Paisley, Scotland, on Earth. What is Earth though? A big fucking planet we live on. You think it's a round ball? Could be fucking a square for all I know. Well, that's what I'm saying. Do you, would you take it for granted that it is a, a globe? I don't know. No, I've never. I can't, can't I say I've been up in space to say I or not yet, so. Uh, do you think you would need to go to space in order to find out exactly where you were? What about science? Do you think science would be able to tell you? Aye. Right, so. Do you know what you know what physics is? Aye. You know what the physics of liquid like this bottle I'm holding right now? So it's filled with water. I know right. the so you, you I know the basics, I don't know all the well, ends of it. Well your everyday experiences is that water will take the shape of any container you put it in. Aye. What about the what about the surface of it there? What would you say about the surface of it? Same. Flat? No. What would you say then? It's it beveled. Where? For the for the edge of the bottle to the middle, it's bevelled. What, meniscus, so it dips down a wee bit? Aye. So you're getting tension on the sides of it, on the bottle of it. What if I was to put a wee ball in the bottom of that, that bottle, would you see the shape of the ball, the ball on the top of the, the surface of the water? Uh, I'm trying to remember the day I remember it, probably not. <laughs> no, because that's physics. Water doesn't have the ability to support itself like that, does it? No. Right, so if the place is covered in water, and we know that water only takes the shape of containers and the surface doesn't show com you know, shapes on its surface How can you be living on a bar? I don't fucking know What did you think there when you seen that? A load of rubbish A load of rubbish? I think the, the government tried to tell people what they can and can't do again No, this is me that put that there What is it? Aye. And what I'm trying to show you people is, is that the government are lying to us about where we live We all know, we all know, everybody should know that So you know the government lie? Every time they open their mouth, they fucking lie. Yeah. So you know that these there's no real photographs for space. No, because the radiation would kill us as soon as we try and lift the atmosphere. Yes. Right. So it's so they say. Right. So do you think they went to the moon? No. Of course they didn't. So do you think? Because I don't think there's actually been forties. <clears throat> there's no oxygen, uh, no wind in space. So how the fuck can the flag fly flap? Good. Um, you could pick up a, ro a bunch of rocks, scatter them about the place, and go. This is the moon. Yeah. How do you how do you uh, thrust in a vacuum? You don't. Exactly. You need something to push against. Hi, hi. Are you all right? <laughs> oh, you know what I'm doing here. <laughs> you want to take part? <laughs> um, aye. So you know the government are lying. Aye. So does the open my mouth. You know they're telling lies about going to the moon. So you you know that they're telling lies about getting to space. Aye. Aye. So, what I'm saying to you is, is that we don't live on a wee spinning ball, we live on a level plane. Hmm, I don't know about that, if it's a level plane or no. Well, what would you think it is? Could be any shape. But it has to be something. It's a shape of some sort, but I don't know but what. That's a measuring tool, see water. We use that to construct when you can depend on it, you know, over and over and over again. For me, that's the most accurate measuring tool that anybody has in order to tell us where we actually live. So if the place is covered in liquid and we can test this stuff 100% of the time and we know that it has to be a container or something? Mm, not necessarily. Gravity. Well, you would need to give me practical examples. Do you know what natural science is? Aye. Would you, I I don't know 100% of it, but I know a bit about it. Well, if I say to you that the, the core of science is observable, measurable, testable and repeatable, you have to be able to observe stuff, you have to be able to test it and you have to be able to repeat it. Would you say that's what science is? Aye. Right. So when you say gravity, I'm su I suggest you're going to say gravity clings the water and all this stuff to this wee bar. Right, if they say it's a bar, uh, this, the, the planet's supposed to be spinning about a thousand miles an hour, maybe even faster, so the gravity obviously is pushing everything into the centre of the planet. But see if you go to the shows like the fairground and you go on the waltzers or something that spins you, does it pull you inwards or does it throw you outwards? It tries to throw you out. Right, so that's physics again, that's what we test in reality again. Right, so if we were spinning at a thousand miles an hour, 
the oceans and all these kind of things wouldn't be stuck to the ball. But again, if you get one practical example of gravity and how water would be clung to a ball. If I get a ball right now for you and give you this water and ask you to pour it on the ball, what would happen? It would pour off it. Exactly. So why would you then believe a story that we are mystical force like gravity when you can't ever observe or recreate it? We constantly observe gravity. Where? We're walking about. What do you mean? If there wasn't a gravity, we'd, been, we'd be flying about. How do you work that out? Well, we need gravity to hold us to the ground. So if I fill a helium balloon and I let it go and it rises up? It's because of the helium. It's not, the gravity isn't, isn't affecting the helium because it's a lighter. It's a lighter object. Well, you've just answered. You don't need gravity. You've just answered that, that the helium's lighter than the air, so it rises. You're heavier than the air, so you fall. And so is water. Exactly. So where's gravity? Yeah. <laughs> according to science, gra it's gravity fucking hodges according up. According to science or according to priestly institutions that tell you that? Probably both. Well, where did you hear about gravity? When I was in school. Right, so you believe it because you were taught it? Uh that's the only place you've ever heard about it, isn't it? Nothing about it going shitty telly, and I don't really watch much of that. Right, so TV and hearing about it in school is not really a scientific thing, is it? Did you trust your own senses? Aye. Right, so if I'm saying to you and I'm asking you to trust your own senses, you know what liquid's like, you know how it behaves every single day, you go for a bath, you fill your sink up, you fill your kettle up, you have a cup of tea, you go to a swimming pool, you go to a lake, you go to a loch, you know the water's always flat, don't you? It's not always flat. Of course it is. Well, this is waves. Aye. Nah. Wind. <laughs> but if we, if we were to say there was no wind. Ah, it's always flat. Right. So do you think the oceans are going to be any different? No. So you're not curious then to wonder what else is beyond this earth? Ah, I have been. I mean, I say with the thing where they say, oh, there's never been aliens, and then they go, oh, aliens have crash landed in Roswell. <laughs> Why the fuck would aliens come thousands upon thousands of miles? Not really in crash land and non vent seat belts. <laughs> good, fucking good point, mate. <laughs> or some form of seat belt to hold ourselves if we die. See, we have people focusing in up there and trying to convince you that it's all going on up there. No. And really, for me, it's across the way. It's underneath me. It makes me a sense that it's across the way. Other people. Well, so you think there's people live inside the earth? No, no. I, what we should do instead of looking up, we should look down. Yeah. I hear, because this is where we live. Aye, yeah. we'll find, you dig under the ground, you'll find maybe a whole bunch of bones. Yeah. And they bones will tell you what happened a hundred, maybe a thousand years ago. So why don't we just keep digging further down? Well, this is it. What do you think, sir? That's bizarre. Do you think it's concerning that the, the governments are lying to us about where we actually live? Well, I couldn't say, I wouldn't know about that, I couldn't comment. Do you not think it's important? I, I couldn't comment. I, I, another time. Okay. So, see this is a problem we have with people, people think that it doesn't matter, but... Like the older generation. Do you think, I mean, if they're going to these extents to lie to us and tell us a story about where we are, then there must be something important. Go to be. Eh? Eh? So do you think you're going to look into this a wee bit further, or are you still not really caring? They can lie all the like, I don't give a fuck anymore. I've stopped listening to the government. What kind of questions do you ask yourself about life? What's important to you? You live, you die, it's whatever the fuck you do in the middle. Well, what's important to you though? Nothing. Nothing's important to you? You're just drifting through life, no keen a fuck, just... Aye. Going at it. Aye, Aye. why not? What if somebody offers you and says, well, by the way, here's where you are and this is what life's about and, you know, this is how it came to be, would you want that information? Ah, but do I know about it? Of course. I would want the truth. Right. Well, some country lie to me. So it is important to you then? Aye. Right. But I still probably, still when I get five monkeys, I would just go my own way. Do you think some of the confusion in life is because people are, don't know where they are? They don't know what life's about? Probably. Yeah. Some of the horrors we see, some of the injustice we see. Mm. Do you think there's a huge difference between the, the, the psychological mind state of, you know, a big bang and a wee delicate planet flying endlessly through the vacuum of space with no rhyme or reason to it, to the opposite, which is you're on a level plane that was deliberately created and that there's more to life than you're actually realising? 
That's a possibility. Right. So hopefully you'll get away and think about it, mate. Uh, Aye. Uh -huh. I'll constantly think about random shite. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't say it's random shite, but I appreciate your honesty, man. I could only ask you for that, you know? <laughs> Take care, bud. So you were, you, you were looking at the wee alien thing there, did you read the information on the front of it? Yeah. Like a tiny bit, I think. Well it's basically saying to you, you know, it's talking about physics and science, you know what science is? Yeah. Understand okay. science. Just talking about liquid water and how it behaves. Right. Do you trust your senses? Aye, aye. So if I say to you, liquid takes the shape of any container you put it in, and no matter what you date it, the surface is always flat and horizontal. Would you agree to that? That's your everyday experience of reality? You don't? What do you think different? Uh, what? You think that if if I put a wee shape in the bottom of that bottle that I would see it on the surface of the water? Uh, it it. No, if I stuck it and it was sunk to the bottom. Uh, and then I looked at the surface of the water, would I see the shape on the surface here? Aye. Uh, How? Leave a mark. No, what what does this show? So that's like saying if a, a boat sinks to the bottom of the sea, you can see the boat because you can see the shape of the boat in the top aye, of the water. Yeah, you can see some sort of outline. On the water. I would see some sort of outline. See, she's she's going to embarrass you here. She even knows what I'm saying, don't you? Yeah. Water's always flat, isn't yeah. it? Isn't it? Right. So if they're telling you that you live on a spinning ball, and water, the place is covered in water, and we know water doesn't behave like that, how can it be a spinning ball? Do you believe it is a spinning ball we live on? Do you? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> do you? Confused. You're confused? Uh -huh. Well, that, you, you trust yourself, you trust your senses, don't you? Mm -hmm. right, so you know that you can experience these things every single day in your life. Yeah. You don't need a, a special person coming with a certain degree to tell you that it behaves differently. That's what you observe every day of your life. So that one fact tells you that what they're telling you is a lie. Do you think that they've been to space? No. You don't? No. Do you think they went to the moon? Nah. No. <laughs> so <laughs> so what, what, if I, what if I say to you that the earth was actually level and it wasn't a ball? But I would need a wee that. Why? Because just everything just goes round and round and round. So do you believe it's a ball? Aye. Uh, Why? It's not flat. How do you know? Because it's, it's covered uh, in water. Because it just, it just keeps going round. Do you know what the horizon is? And eventually we'll meet everybody. Do you know what the horizon is? Mm. When you're at the sea or the beach and you look out. Aye, and it's beautiful. And you see that line Aye. in front of your eyes Aye. and it's called the horizon. What shape's it? It's a straight level shape. Right. Have you ever seen any curve anywhere? No. But it is, run. <laughs> how though? Because how do you know it's not? Because I'm giving you physics, I'm giving you yeah. observable stuff that you can check out for yourself. What if I say to you there's absolutely no photographs or actual videos for space, they're all just composite images? I mean, don't I ever believe that? Well, that's what they've done. It's flat. Are you starting to think about this now? Yeah. Good on you. I'm going at the high school, so I need to Oh, well, out. you've got questions that you want to be asking. But my advice to you is, is, you always need a practical example for things that they're telling you, do you know what that means? So if somebody says to you, oh by the way, there's a round ball with oceans stuck to it, and you go, right, well get me a round ball then, and show me what happens when I pour the water onto it, what's going to happen to the water? It's just going to uh, fall, fall off. off. And what? There'll be no water. There'll be no water in it. And if there's nothing to hold the water, what's going to happen? It's just going to keep flowing. Flowing and flowing and flowing. That's how rivers work, isn't it? You've got a high point and the river runs down from the high point to the low point and then it gets to the sea. So do you think that when you're standing at the sea that the sea's sloping away from you but the water doesn't flow? That's ridiculous, is it not? <laughs> I'll just stick to what I think. I think it's just so if, if I say to you then, you know, you think the earth's round, it's just because of what you've been told and what you've seen on the TV. Probably And you're quite happy just to just to believe in that. Well that's honest, you know, that's that's fantastic. It's, it's but the little you in here, she's got Mary an inquisitive mind and that's fantastic. You need to keep that up and keep asking questions and don't believe anything until anybody can show you it practically. Do you know what you know what practically means? Yeah. If I say to you I can fly. You're not going to believe me until I show you me flying. 
That right? <laughs> Good on you. Aye. Good. Keep thinking about it. Is that going to go on YouTube or something? Aye. Is that so I can look good for it? Yeah, I'll give you the name in a wee second. Alright, Amy, because you're in the stuff like that. What do you think, guys? What else? Aye. Can you ask you why? Aye. Can I ask you, can I ask you, could you give me your best proof that it's round? Well, I can't prove it because I'm no uh, astro. So, so would, it be, would, it be, would, it be, would it be safe to say you believe it because of the, what you see in the TV? That's it. Aye. Or what you read in books, sir. So if I, if I gave you a book and I gave you pictures of the Loch Ness Monster, would you take it as scientific proof that there was true? That's yet to be determined, is it? What if I gave you pictures of unicorns? and told you that they were through? No, because you could probably trace that back to some fable to a few hundred years ago. So would you be safe to say that, that pictures and videos are no scientific proof? No, part of the evidence. So what you can only really go with what you can see, what you can experiment with. Well, exactly. So if I gave you physics, like right now I'm holding this bottle of water and there's a, there's a substance in there called water, liquid. We understand in natural science, fluid mechanics and how liquids behave. Right. And if I say to you that a fluid will take the shape of its container and that the surface will always be horizontal and flat, would you agree with that, that that's your everyday experience of liquid on Earth? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So if the Earth's 80% covered in water and we know the Gravity physics of water... It in place. Could you define it and give me a practical example of gravity? Well... Physicists don't know. That's, yeah. that's gravity. Well, I could, I could explain that, that things are more dense. So if I fill a helium balloon up and I let it go and it rises, why is it rising? Because it's lighter than air. Because of gravity, air. it's lighter than air. Because of gravity, it's lighter than air, or just because it's lighter than air Both. that it rises? Both, isn't it? Well, the mainstream science guys like Neil deGrasse Tyson will clearly tell you they don't have a clue what gravity actually is. The only reason they use it is because they have to have an explanation for why things are stuck upside down on a ball. Yeah, but there's a different explanations for gravity. Newton says one thing, and other physicists have said other things. It's upside down. Uh, you don't get upside down in a ball. How can you ah, it's, re it's relative, so they need relativity. But here's the thing, you've got these, these common senses that you've got right now, you know where up is, you know where down is, you know where left and right in every other direction is. Because of gravity? No, because you, for me you've got an internal gyroscope that starts from a level plane. You can't uh, have up uh, doing... Right, okay, so take that argument, you go up into space. But there's no, there's no gravity, there is no up and there is no down. You, you would have to prove that space exists first. You, you, you're assuming that that's true. You don't true. jump down. Sorry? You don't jump down. What do you mean? Well, if I go like that, what am I doing? Am I jumping up, down, left or right? I'm well, jumping if up, you're it's jumping up, name. Well, your, your body's, your, the mass of you is more dense than the air that you're in right now. Yeah, so it falls. brings me back down. Well, so I'm falls. jumping up and falling down. So, so if, if, we, if we moved on for the word gravity, right? That in the way or shape or form provides anything measurable that the Earth is actually a globe. So if I ask you again, what would you have that would suggest to you that you lived on a globe? There's a Japanese weather satellite that's so many thousands of miles out in space <coughs> and it takes pictures of the Earth, which is a globe. Well, these, these are assumptions and if you go to these things, they'll tell you quite clearly that they're composite images, they're no actual photographs. That doesn't mean they're fake, it means they're composites. They're composites, that's right. Yeah, which that's means right. you take a bit of that image, a bit of that image, a bit of that image, put them together and that's the best images you can so get. So for supposedly thousands and thousands of satellites up there, do you think they would have actual photographs and videos, would you know? Well, they do, but if you were to, well, if you were to hold a tennis ball in front of your face there, mm -hmm. you'd, it'd be flat to you. If you hold a tennis ball way over there, you say, well, it's round because you can see the curvature of it. But I, and that's it's, it's, it's the same principle when a satellite goes up into space. It's too close to the Earth to get an actual But it's exactly the same of the eclipse, isn't it? Because you can determine you only see one side, you know, on an eclipse. Yeah. Ah, but this guy's going to turn around and say the moon's transparent. No, I'm not going to say any of these things. I'm not going to say any of these things. That's the big argument in the winter. Well, he's a... Quite dismissive. Thanks for your time anyway, guys. Appreciate you talking to me. <laughs> See, that's the kind of thing you've got to deal with. You know, you offer these guys, you know, a polite conversation and, you know, they all get antsy and arrogant and want to run away, you know, because the pennies are starting to drop, you know. So, don't let people like that intimidate you and don't let them affect you emotionally. You know, you just got to laugh, thank them for their time and be polite and just let them go on with it, you know. Simple as that. But yet we've got a we've got a five six year old there who is more discerning than any of these so called adults, you know, because common sense kicks in. They've known all that indoctrination. They've got a chance to have a look at it for themselves, you know.
and they're still there discussing it. Look, see, it's in their mind. Are you all right? Yeah. So, what are you saying? Yeah, I believe that the earth is flat. I did believe in the, the hollow earth theory as well. Yep. There might still be, I mean, the, 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 I, there's, there's possibilities that there's... Potential. Yeah. Even like guy like Admiral Bob, to be said, heard read yep. that story as well. Yep. He flew both. Did he not fly into a hole? No, he done expeditions to Antarctica and he came back saying there was continents down there the size of America and stuff, so... So maybe a, a one, one ruler of the earth is in there too? Well, there's all these kind of fables and stories, I stick purely to science though. Right. I'm only interested in what we can actually prove, you know, I don't I don't listen to some of these conspiracy stories until we can actually establish you're, what they are. You're actually right with the, flat, the, the water level, right. you can't bend water. Exactly. My, my theory was, when I thought of the whole earth, see the both openings, yeah. I thought, when it comes in the hole, it comes back. See like this, yeah. they're going back on its sail and that's why we've got our tides. Yeah. But in the middle we've got a central sun. Yeah. I don't know how that works, but... But you've heard about it, I've which, I've, which I've, is important, aye, that's... I'm right into this, I, good. I, I'm daily, I'm YouTubed right out of my box every day. Right. Aye. Every day, I love it. Aye, good. Same me, I've, I've got the theory as well, Rip. Hitler done it too. He done his mission with his U-boat, went away down. No, it's went into the ice, went into the ice, and it's called New Schwabia. Yeah, that's right, New Schwabenland, yep. Yeah. Down there, like I say, and there's meant to be another race of beans that controls the earth. And you've got... You've got what they called again? You've got two seconds, I'll get this. The Aminaki. The Anunnaki. The Am Aminaki over there. Supposedly not even that long ago as well. So you're you aware of all these? I believe in all this day, I believe in Nibiru as well. Well, I don't know because you know I don't think there's such a thing as outer space the way they tell us that it actually is. Because you can't have a vacuum next to a positive pressure system without a barrier between them, so there has to be something solid up there. Right. If you're going to say that there's a, a vacuum, there would have to be a barrier between the two of them. Did you, um, see the Gary McKinnon thing with the, the, the hacking? The Scottish, yep. Scottish hacker? Scottish guy hacker. He said when he went on his 6 by 9 flat inch back in the, back in the 90s, a certain was so mean that it took ages when he hacked NASA. Came down and it said the earth was like a, like a cigar. What a and cylinder. It a globe at the end, right? It was like a cylinder with a globe at the end, and that's what we live on that. But all that, and it's a might be like spike. I don't even know how to explain it. It's like all different cigars on this one thing as well. We think it's a bar, but we're there, and there's mere past the north and south. It just keeps going. So that's a, there's a lot of people who think that there's more beyond I, where I we are. So if some people think this is just one pond and there's other ponds with other life in it, it and stuff. It kind of takes their math of life and stuff, I think, about it all. So it's usually it's important. It's probably this day to use when that. Always do. Always do. It's even, important though, isn't it? Mm -hmm, that is important. Yep. We're getting light to for the start. I say, even yeah. I say to them, I think, I believe in aliens and all that right today. Yep. I don't believe in them as being in aliens, because we're aliens too. I don't believe that we as humans are Fire from here. Sky. I don't think, oh, I said this to you this morning as well, didn't I? I said, how can we, how can we evolve for microscopic stuff to fish to this. Well oh, you can never see that can you recreate you any of that. that that's you can't. We don't even yeah. know if that's true. Yeah. So I think we've been placed here. That's what my theory is anyway. Well I quite I kinda of think something like that as well, mm -hmm. you know. Hey buddy, I'm going to head. Good right. donkey. Ah you, you too buddy. I, 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 Take it easy. Hey buddy, see you later. Cheers my man! So, all walks of life, you know, many people questioning. Can I ask you what you think? Hi. Hi. Four. Come here. Pit pool, eh? What's that one in the face? Uh, Can I ask you what you think of that? It's talking about physics and how liquid behaves um, and how liquid will take the shape of any container. The surface will always be horizontal and flat unless there's motion like wind and waves and currents and stuff like that. But we know how that property, that stuff behaves. We test it and we apply it every single day in reality. Now they're trying to tell us that we live on a globe, flying about the vacuum of space. But that one scientific observation and test tells us beyond any shadow of a doubt that that's not the case. Well, I, I would claim that. So I always ask people, you know, that the whole 
premise is, do you believe you live on a globe? Do you? Yeah. Can I ask you why? Just because that's what we're taught. Well, that's that's pretty much the, the, the answer we get from everybody. Uh -huh. um, do you think that's justification for you to believe it, just because you were told it? I don't know, it's getting a bit heavy for me. <laughs> <laughs> do you think it's important to know exactly where you are? Uh, yeah. yeah, I think it is important. And do you think it'd be hugely important if there's a possibility that there's institutions telling us lies about where we are? This is just getting a bit too heavy for me, I'm afraid. Aye. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Can I ask you, do you believe you live on a globe? Um, yeah, yes. probably yeah. do, yeah. Can I ask you why it's round? I've seen it. Where? From the moon. From the moon? Yeah. Have you been to the moon? Oh, one of my friends has. So they went to the moon? That's an American guy. Aye. Is he an astronaut? <laughs> Well, see, like, you hear these stories, yet you, if you go to NASA in these places like this now, they'll say, oh, we lost all the telemetry data, we, we lost all the equipment, um, we can't get past the Van Allen radiation belts yet, we're supposed to believe that in the 60s they went to the moon, which is 238,000 miles outside the Earth, apparently, according to these people. So if I say to you, all right, to all right, no problem. Sorry. Thank you very much Sorry, for stopping anyway. It, is, it does attract your attention. Yeah, great, okay. fantastic. Thanks for speaking to me. Just while I'm here, I thought I would highlight this. Now, as again, this is the um, Paisley Council building, and I've always been curious about this. This is quite a new structure, and for me, you know, I'll zoom in on this just so you can see it. Now, if you have a look at this. That extends outwards and inwards to the building and it is held up by pillars and it basically looks like a UFO, <laughs> you know, a spaceship. That's pretty much what it looks like. I've never looked into, you know, what the design is, why it was designed that way or who designed it, but I think I'm going to have a wee bit of investigating in order to try and find this out. Can I ask you what you think of that, sir? Watch, watch. Nah. Nah. Does it make sense? Nah. nah. Does it know your everyday experience of how water behaves? I don't think about it, do you? Nah. nah. Do you believe you live on a globe? I don't know. I'm undecided now. You're undecided? Nah. Since when? Just this moment or? Ah, about a year ago. About a year ago. I started reading a wee bit about it, but... Aye. I mean, there's so many other lies I've been led to believe my whole life that... Yeah. No, I'm not prepared to believe just, any of it. Just believe that the we live on a globe, you know yeah, what I mean? Excellent. So, so that's what's really good. That I, I don't believe it, I'm not saying that I do believe it. I'm, I'm just but you're open totally to question it. That's fantastic. Yeah, that's, that's the best anybody can ask. Yeah. And for me, that's the core of what science should actually be. Mm -hmm. You know, never be a closed book and everybody should always be open to investigation, you know? Yeah. Um, so, can I ask you, was it, what was it you kind of looked into? Was it just no, kind of YouTube? Just a guy on Facebook. Or Facebook, was it? A guy called Darren Nisbet. Darren Nisbet, I know. Uh, do you I know, know Darren. Yep. 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 I started you know, reading what he'd score to say about things. And yep. I don't agree, agree with his religious side of things. I think that's a lot of bullshit. Yeah. Bullshit, you know what I mean? Yeah, but, me too. Yeah. Uh, Bye, bye. Thing, definitely. Aye, it's real yeah. interesting, isn't it? Aye. But again, you know, it's great that you like that. And you know, I would always say to people, you know, based things on being a direct realist. And well, see, about, about five years ago, I started reading up on the Rothschilds and shit like that and what they're doing. Yeah. You know, how they're storing all the wealth and all that. And that can open my mind to everything. Yeah. You know, so from then on, having said that, I stopped reading that because. I felt as if I was going crazy. Yeah. You know, try to explain the other people that I would meet. Yeah. It's time you see them across the road to avoid you. And exactly. You know, like some, some people just don't want to know about it. They want to just uh, kid on that everything's all right. Bubble, and exactly, and that's the problem we've got. But the, the beauty about this question is, is that it's within everybody's direct experience, like all the other conspiracy theories. You're having to listen to stories and wee bits of information here and there, whereas the world that you're living in, you can assess directly yourself. Uh, you know? Mm -hmm. So I always say to people, you know, I mean, the, the horizon, you know it's a horizontal flat line, don't you? I didn't even notice that was a new alien. Aye. <laughs> so... Aye. Mm -hmm. Aye. And liquids, we know how a liquid behaves here on Earth and... Aye. You know, you trust your senses, you, you, you're witnessing these things every day of your life. But yeah, the confusion comes is because they're offering you these images. 
you know, what you see in the TV screen. And for me, that's if, if the images don't match observed, tested reality, then I that's where the problem lies. It's not that I'm going to try and fudge physics in order to fit these images. That's that's not how it works, you know. That's not how science should work anyway. Um, right, that's excellent that you've actually started tapping into it and questioning it for yourself, man. I watch a lot of things on YouTube and that as well, you know, I mean, not so much about the flat air theory yeah. yet, but... Well, I'm uh, on there, I've got a channel, I've been there for a, for a wee while, and um, it's called Beyond the Imaginary Curve. Beyond the Imaginary Curve? Beyond the Imaginary Curve, and there's many, is there, there's many common people coming together, there's some academic people coming into it, um, and we're kind of congregating there, and I've got an open platform that I go live on a Saturday night, so cool. if you're free, uh, you can check it out and hopefully night, join actually. us in. Well, I'm on the night live actually, Gav, um, the boy with the, the degrees in maths and physics, he's going to be on the other night. Cool. Um, and then we're obviously on on a Saturday, which is an open platform, so I give out the phone number. And if you want to phone or message her, you can even come in and join us on the live event and say hello and let us know a wee bit of your story. Cool. That'd be great, man. Thanks, bud. I'll look into that, Take anyway. it easy, my man. Right, Take care. Can I ask you what you think of that? Yeah, it's quite interesting actually. Yeah. It's about the, uh, hey, come here. Flat Earth theory. Yeah, well, depends what you mean by flat Earth theory. Okay, well, my brother-in-law is quite into it all, so. So um, you've heard of it? Yes. Yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, a lot of people think it's rubbish. It thinks it's more like this. Or yeah, some people think it's circular. And yeah. For me, I don't subscribe to any model. Okay. I just think it's important for science to have an honest look at it and Definitely. have an investigation into what the actual full dimensions of the reality actually are. Cool, no it's very interesting, it's yeah. very eye-catching. What do you think about that bit of information there? I don't know much about it to be honest with you, but I think it's something worth looking into. I've seen the YouTube tag there saying take a look, so yeah. what's this Beyond the Imaginary Curve? Yeah, that's, that's my that channel, page? it's right, Beyond okay, the cool. Imaginary Curve, yeah. Cool. I'll definitely have a look at it. I'm very uh, I do street these. interviews and stuff. Well, see? I see, I, I try and avoid a conspiracy theory, I try and stick okay. to science, you okay. know. Okay, okay, um, cool. But, I mean, would you say that's your everyday observed experience of how liquid Water behaves? Lo yeah, I would say so, normally. Yeah. Like, if you're thinking about the scene and stuff like that, probably, I. Yeah, so or thinking about filling up even filling up a sink and stuff, it's always level. Sink, bathtub, yeah. swimming pool. So do you ask that if people say why was it why would you think the ocean would be any different? Yep. And for me, and you know. I know it. You don't ever not. even actually think about it, I think. Yeah. To be honest with you, it's better to kinda of sometimes just Go on, mate. open your mind. Yeah, exactly. You know, exactly. 100%, but I will look into Thank it. you very much for no speaking. Problem. Thank you. No worries, Take that's care. Cool. Cheers. See you later. Make it dark. <laughs> Sorry. What do you think, sir? Oh, earth, innit? What do you think? What's that? What do you think about that? Ah, you know why? You can't prove it, can you? So, you're aware of the question then? You've oh, said. Aye, aye. Where have you heard about it? Off it's everywhere, innit? It's all over the net. Aye. Aye. What do you think personally? It's flat, mate. Oh, I couldn't give my. I'm not, I couldn't give my. Um, my view, mate, you know. No, can I ask I'm you. I'm a businessman, you, you know, so I might lose customers. So. Aye, well, can I ask you if you think it's important? What's that? To know about the truth about where oh, we I actually are? Aye. aye. Hi. It's just a big lie, isn't it? Yeah. Right. Exactly. Right. So if they're lying about one faction of life, then right. where does it end? It's all about money, isn't it? Exactly, man. Keeping us in Marquise, that's what it is. Exactly. Right. Right. So is this yours, is it? This is mine, aye. I do street interviews and go to universities and get, get in. That guy, uh, Brian Mullen, it's on the internet. Brian Mullen, aye, you know, but Brian. Aye, balls out physics. Balls out physics. Aye. Yep, yep. There's so many now. Aye, there is, aye. 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 But it's really interesting. Yeah, that, that's the thing, 20 years ago they didn't uh, realise they would have the internet and we'd be able to communicate with each other. Yep, so exactly. They just put out any old rubbish. Yep. Just like that out, they believe it, you know. Yep. But uh, they never, they never realised technology would all get access to it. Exactly. And now they're paying a the price. And now we can start speaking to each that's other, this is exactly it. And discuss things, let's have a discussion, you know. But it's great speaking to guys I like yourself. Mean, I, it's to, it's, I, it's I, nice I, to it's nice to hear you so many different walks of life who have actually I, heard about this thing I, now. I, I, you know? I feel an order at least. Aye. Excellent. Aye. Good man. Let's just uh, 
Unless you go there to yourself, you know, you can't afford it. Well, do you think you'd need to go to space, or can you think you could, uh, you could, dis you could find out through physics and experiment? Aye, well. Well, as I've put, I've put there, you know, that's how liquids behave and how we experience aye, them. Aye. So I, I say that to people all the time, do you think the ocean would be any different to a, a pool or a lake or, uh, you know? If you know yourself, when you're on a plane and, and uh, if you're going on holiday, you look down at the, the ocean and the sea, it's grey, yep. it's not blue, yep. you know, so. Aye. And when you're on a plane, I mean, the, the horizon's always still aye. parallel and flat. Uh, it's not something I've really noticed much, but aye, it is, aye. Everything comes to the horizon to the eye, innit? Yep, aye. yep. But I mean, I suppose you could sort it out with mathematics, you know, if you get into that. Well, mathematics is a formal science, it's aye. a language, and they've used aye. that to, to tell us the lie in the first place. Aye. Aye. So we need natural science, we need substance and measurement, aye. you know? Aye. So. I mean, even the speed of light, they've sort of proved that. Gravity, they've not even proved gravity. Exactly. They've no idea what it is. Exactly. There's a thing on the NASA website, by the way, uh, that there's different levels in the atmosphere. And I'm not sure there's a troposphere and all that, but there's one level where there's an, an electric current that they've no figured out what it is yet, you know? Right. And you, even they say that, and I say, uh, Do you believe they went to the moon? No, no chance, mate. <laughs> Have you seen the video? Who won? Oh, the guy's uh, short t-shirts and then the boulders gloves on, on his face, <laughs> on the <laughs> rocket. <laughs> Have you, you seen the one with the dugs burying a, burying a bone on the moon? <laughs> <laughs> It's Aye. just, it's so easy to show us any all images. Time, mate. You know, it just shows you how, how easily fooled humankind can be. You exactly. Know? It's back in the old days with the, the Inca gods and all that, you know. Yeah. Even even today, you know, certain, uh, certain religions believe there's a big man in the sky down there looking down on us. Yeah. You know, so don't do the wrong thing. Aye. There's a big man in the sky. Do you think it's changing? Do you think we're going to start figuring all these things Aye. out? Aye, new age, isn't it? Yeah. Cheers for talking, buddy. Aye, you're welcome, Appreciate buddy. it, man. Can I ask you what you think about that, sir? Can I ask you what you think? I don't know. You don't know? <laughs> what do you want me to think? Well, it's just, <laughs> I mean, is that what you experience every day in your life? experience every day in our lives, aye. Right, so would you trust your natural senses and your everyday experience over images? Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. So, that day and again, you know, that's physics, that's science, it's testable, repeatable, mm -hmm. measurable by everybody alive. Mm -hmm. So that one, for me, that's the most accurate measuring tool anybody has in order for establishing level. And if the Earth's 80% covered in it, yeah, they're trying to show us these cartoon images to say that we live on a ball with oceans clung to it and the oceans are curved. So the oceans are not only curved but they're displaying convexity upon the surface. Do you think that's preposterous? Not really, no. You don't? No. Can I ask you why? Because I think you'll find that if you zoom out, the mass of the Earth that it is, when we're closer and everything appears that way, closer in you get, the more flat everything seems right down to cells and atoms. Yep. Further out you go, you zoom in out, then yeah, that's probably the case. Yeah. So, aye, so I do you think gravity, you know. You, so you believe that they go to space and you believe these images that they show you then? Yes. So you are contradicting your everyday observed reality? So you, you, you would have to be ignoring your own common sense experience in order to you know, accept these images. Quite often your mind can play tricks on you. You've seen plenty of things of images where you think, oh, that's moving, but it's not. It's the way colours lie beside each other. Possibly a similar idea there. So if I gave you images of Nessie, uh -huh. and I says to you, look, I've got 500 of these pictures, uh -huh. do you not believe Nessie's real? Would you believe it? Or a pink unicorn, would you believe that? Would you believe a pink unicorn? Maybe Nessie. <laughs> Maybe Nessie. Dinosaurs did exist. So my point, my point... Say they don't still. <laughs> well, my point being is, you know, we can't really depend. You, you couldn't call an image, especially these days, with manipulation. You couldn't say that that's scientific proof of anything, could you? I don't 
That's true. So if we remove the images from the equation and we go back to natural physics and mm. things that we can test and observe, I mean that's a measuring tool. So you would have to be saying, well I don't trust my senses, I don't think liquid behaves like that because I believe these images. Mm -hmm. And I think that's absurd. Perhaps, where are you from? I'm from Paisley. No, no, where are you? What, what's, is this your own beliefs? Or, you know, no, I don't have any beliefs. No, I'm, I've got my channel called Beyond the Imaginary Curve. We go to universities, we go on the street and we interview people. We've got so many various walks of life who are now questioning the validity of the claim that we live on a spinning ball in the vacuum of space. Um, and for me it's an ongoing investigation. Fair enough. Would you say science should remain an open book and always be open to question? Oh aye. Aye? Definitely. Yeah. So based on that wee bit of information, this short discussion, you think you're going to question the, where you actually live? I, I do question things anyway, but I have to say that you know, they've been questioning the Earth for a long time and its shape and all the rest of it. And I'm happy that they've proved that we live on a ball. Yeah. But... So you think they've proved it? Could I ask you where do you think they proved it? Well, we've seen enough images of the Earth at a distance, so you know I'm happy that we do live on a ball. So if if we start, you'd obviously try to prove the world is flat, which is fair enough. Well, I would say level. You know, flat's like an tarnished word. Right, okay, level. Yeah. Okay. But you know what I'm saying. You're, aye, you're aye. back. We'll see it back. Yeah. But I would, I would go back again and say you know. If, if the show is on the TV, you know, images, thousands of images of unicorns, you know, you're going to start believing they're real. Let's see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> I really need a long Thanks for anyway, thanks very much for talking and interacting. Getting showed? The, beyond the Imaginary Curve is the channel. Right. As I say, there's many street interviews on there and stuff. It's not about uh, taking the piss or ridiculing anybody. Mm -hmm. It's just an honest bit of journalism, mm -hmm. you know. Okay. So, alright buddy. No problem. Thank you. Cheers.